next tip is on how to make homemade chicken broth or stock. It's so very easy and so very good. This is not to say that I don't buy stock at the grocery store because I do. I tend to use a lot of it. But whenever I run across a recipe that calls for cooked chicken, I like to take the opportunity to make stock because I can do them both at the same time. I also try and pay attention to when my grocery store has chicken on sale because that's a great time to do this. I can make stock and also pre-cook chicken and freeze it in portion sizes that I use in a lot of my favorite recipes, like for me, chicken pot pies or certain casseroles. And that way, when I go to make those dishes, I already have it on hand. For this, I like to use a four to five pound chicken, and I have my butcher cut it into pieces for me. Now, sometimes I find my recipes tend to call for more white meat, and so today I'm using chicken breasts only. I have four of them, and they equal about four pounds, and they're bone in, skin on, because I tend to find that this really lends to the overall flavor and richness of the stock. I start by adding the chicken pieces to a pot, and I find using a large pasta pot for this works very well. Then I add one leek that's been cut in half lengthwise and cleaned. Two stalks of celery, and use the leaves for this. There's so much great flavor in the leaves of celery. Four carrots that have been peeled, and one medium-sized onion cut into large pieces. Then add one turnip, one large bunch of flat leaf or Italian parsley. There's lots of herbs in this, again, for great added flavor. Also, two bay leaves and four sprigs of fresh thyme. Then add eight to 10 whole peppercorns. Add four quarts of water, and then turn on the heat and cover until it comes to a boil. When it comes to a boil, take your spoon, give it a little stir, and push all the ingredients down under the water so that everything can cook down evenly. Reduce the heat to a simmer, cover again, and let it simmer for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, it's time to strain and drain the contents. Now you can see why I like to use my pasta pot for this. It makes things so much easier. Remove the basket and then place the cover back on the pot and allow the stock to continue to simmer. Remove the chicken from the basket and while it's still hot, take two forks, peel away and discard the skin and start shredding the chicken by pulling it apart. Chicken shreds best while it's still warm. If you want to dice your chicken, let it cool completely first. Once the chicken is shredded or diced, take the bones and return them to the basket and then to the pot with the other ingredients. Add one more quart of water and let simmer for another hour. After an hour, it's time to strain and drain again, and this time you'll want to discard the bones and vegetables. Allow the stock to simmer uncovered for two to four more hours. As it simmers, skim any impurities that rise to the top. The longer it simmers and reduces, the richer your stock will be. Once it's finished simmering, strain it through cheesecloth to make sure that you get a nice, clean stock. Then, refrigerate the stock overnight. The next morning, take a spoon and skim any fat that collects on the top of the stock. Pour the stock in freezer-safe containers and freeze for future use. This recipe makes about two and a half to three quarts of stock.